What is up my mages, it's Starkazi here and today we are doing the second part of the story quest. Now without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Traveler, Paimon. Your faces say that perhaps you haven't turned up anything? We investigated all over the mountain actually. But we didn't see anyone that looked like you or hear of anyone else meeting you. This is not unexpected. I haven't made much progress either. He appears to know that we are looking for him, and has opted to lie low for the time being. Still, there is one thing I found. I discovered footprints on some parts of the mountain, and although they were a little covered by the snow, I could tell they'd been left by someone of a similar size to myself. The footprints were quite numerous, so I believe my next step will be to rule out each of the adventurers active on Dragonspine, one by one. We can help with that! We have plenty of contact with the adventurers! So now we... Ah! What was that? It came from that direction! Could it be the imposter? Yes, let's hurry! Oh shit, I wonder what it was. By the way guys, I have the audio in English, I hope you do not mind. We have to be careful, these boar- last time I, I- I don't know if you guys saw my latest video, but oh wait. Hey! Did you see that? Did those rocks shake just now? <sighs> that was most unfortunate. What are you guys doing here? I have to agree. We've been wandering this area for days. We ran into Pallet earlier. You know, the, uh, kind of a reckless sort of guy. You know the one? Anyway, he said he was unlucky, so I gave him some adventuring survival tips. After that, he disappeared to rejoin the training camp. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that after all this time, you still haven't made it back to the base camp? <laughs> uh, well, as you can see... It was nothing really. We just hit a few landslides and snow drifts and took a few downhill tumbles. <laughs> you know the deal. They sound like unforgettable life events to me. Anyway, you are correct. We haven't made it to the base camp yet. We have had extraordinarily poor luck over the last few days. Almost as if a sinister force has been trying to thwart our every move. Fortunately, I made advance arrangements for Gerald to remain in a safe location and conduct some basic physical training exercises. I'm sorry. I'm the one to blame for all this. I've always had bad luck and it always rubs off on everyone around me. Sorry to create so much extra trouble for everyone. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Maybe this is the awesome power of fate. The scary kind, I mean. <laughs> I agree. Yep, we're just used to it now. Besides, it's not like we have the most amazing luck ourselves. Really? I think you guys have way better luck than I do. Well... Uh, what can we do about that? Oh, Paimon knows! How about Paimon share some of her luck with you? You're welcome to a bit of mine too. Although if the last few days are anything to go by... It seems in pretty short supply at the moment. You guys... Aww... Thanks. <sighs> With a little luck from everyone combined, we'll make it down this mountain for sure! Yeah, you bet! Let me flip a treasure hoarder insignia to test it out! Alright, it's Tails! The opposite of what I guessed! So you can predict your fortune this way? But why are you so happy that you got it wrong? It has two sides, so there's a 50-50 chance of me getting it correct. Luck all comes down to probability, too. So as long as I use up all the bad luck, everything else will go smoothly. 
Guessing wrong when I flip an insignia is one way to use up some of the bad luck. So, the probability of having some good luck in the near future just got a little higher. Hey, he's making no sense at all. Why aren't you calling him out? Guys, I guessed wrong in my insignia flip, which means we should be able to make it back to camp. Uh, Paimon's not sure that's how it works. Let me try. It's this way, right? Oh, 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 my butt. What, what is this shard of ice doing here? What? How truly miraculous. This is a miracle of misfortune. I don't usually believe in luck, but Bennett makes the best case for it I've ever seen. Amber, if you are ever required to partner with Bennett in your future work and you encounter anything like this again, do not take any rash action. Wait for me, and I will come to support you. Huh? Y yes of course Now that you mention it, I do feel a little tired. Trekking in the mountains has a way of wearing you out. Well, since everyone is tired, why not take a rest in my camp? I'm so sleepy. <sighs> a nice bowl of hot soup and a good sleep would sure be welcome right now. <sighs> Suddenly, I'm kind of sleepy too. Amber will fall asleep in the snow if we keep going much longer. Come on, let's move. We shall head to Albedo's camp and get some rest, take stock of our supplies, and decide how to get off this mountain. Aw, oh, poor Bennett. Honestly, even though Bennett has the worst look, he's still one of he's still like the be one of the best characters. I know, I know, I haven't used him, but don't worry, guys. Once I get him some good artifacts, he's gonna join the team. And I feel like the imposter's gonna be here. Here we are. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, I forgot. I uh, don't have that many chairs. Uh, please wait a moment. What's he doing? Painting? He is. He's painting a chair. Wait, alchemy can turn paintings into objects? How is this possible? My paintings are like blueprints. Alchemy simply enables me to omit the manufacturing part of the process. It's an elementary level technique. With enough research and experimentation, this same technique can even be used to create living beings. Well, since you can magically produce chairs, can I have one of the backrest? No problem. How many of you want backrests? Me! 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 I'll also take one with a backrest, if you please. Can Paimon have a chair that comes with a juicer? Still beat squeezing onto a stool with you. Hmm. Oh, we have chairs now. <laughs> this is so comfortable. Makes me want to stay the night here. You're very welcome to stay overnight if you wish. There's still some time before dinner. Get some rest, everyone. I'll tend the stove. Hey, now. We can't be letting you do all the work. I can help. Please, put me to work. Okay, now I'm gonna fast forward. Oh, wait. I, let me speak with you real quick. This is quite cozy for Dragonspine. I'm pleasantly surprised. Me? I'm coping perfectly well. I don't need looking after. You should talk to Amber and Bennett. They're not as well acquainted with Dragonspine as I am. Seeing how much you can find to talk about even with Albedo, you must be quite the conversationalist. So put that skill to good use. Teach them all how to survive on Dragonspine. I'm sure this is well within your capability, no? To now? <laughs> you know me. Same old Bennett. Unlucky as ever. But as long as bad luck doesn't break me, I'll always get back up again. 
Especially on a cool adventure like this one. I gotta make the most of it. Oh, all that? Uh, don't worry about it. Eula is a good person. She might not show it, but she'd never let that kind of stuff get to her. As for Bennett, he seems like the kind of guy who can keep his spirits up when things aren't going well. I feel bad having to ask so much of Albedo, though. Still, it's kind of nice to have everyone together like this, so yay for silver linings! <laughs> I wish I could simply respond with, I'm fine. But you are a true friend to me, so I should be honest with you. Recently, certain questions have been occupying my mind. Questions about the nature of life and creation. However, I feel that rushing into a discussion with you on these topics before my ideas on them are fully formulated will bring you far more confusion than clarity. So I will wait till my thoughts are clear in my own head before I share them with you. Until then, please forgive me. Okay, we are back now. Let's go talk to Albedo. Oh, pace yourself. Dinner could be a while. I... It's almost ready now. Traveler, please light the campfire and gather everyone for dinner. Oh yay, this is gonna be so cool. Uh, oh, right here. There we go. Oh crap, sorry. I made a few dishes based on some popular Mondstadt recipes. This is no good hunter, but there should be enough to go around. Please, help yourselves. Wow, smells great. Don't mind if I do. Wait, don't steal all the fried vegetables. Uh, leave some for me. Hey! Albedo, you're too modest. These dishes are as good as anything you'd find in the top restaurant. Are all alchemists so good at cooking? Hmm. You may be onto something there. Right? Hyman thinks so too. It's his lab manner that gives it away. The kind of guy who holds a potion bottle as steady as a rock isn't the kind of guy who's gonna be slap dash with his salt and pepper. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm so sleepy after all that food. <sighs> Did Bennett fall asleep sitting up? <laughs> he must be totally wiped out. The way he's sleeping is so alert. I'm impressed. <sighs> It's your favorite, isn't it, Amber? Mmm, sure is. Give me a sticky honey roast from Good Hunter any day. I used to take Eula to Good Hunter a lot back when we first met. Before long, Sarah would start cooking our usual orders as soon as she saw us coming. She said we ordered the same thing so often that it was practically muscle memory by that point. <laughs> She also said that if everyone in Mondstadt ordered like we do, her job would be so much easier. All she'd have to do is memorize everyone's favorites. <clears throat> Always eating together. Ah, it's nice that you two are so close. The Traveler and Paimon always eat together too. It's a sure sign of true friendship. Two people simply sharing a meal says nothing either way about the relationship between them. That depends if it's a one-off meal or a regular occurrence. Aha! Uh -huh. Paimon just noticed something! 
Whenever Eula doesn't want to admit to something, she raises her chin or puts her hands on her hips. <laughs> ah, you've all picked up on that. Didn't know Eula's tells were so easy to spot. <sighs> we are done here, yes? I am free to go, am I not? Then please excuse me. I have a frozen lake I need to be at. You're going for an ice bath at this time of night? W wait up! Don't go without me! I thought you wanted to get some sleep. So maybe you should stay here and rest. No, I should come with you. It's late, and it's dark, and you're not good with directions like I am. Come on, let's go together. An ice bath? Whew. Rather them than Paimon. So much roast meat. Oh, hey, Dad. I'm doing all right. I'm a leader of my own adventure team now. Wow. Ben, it really is a sleep talker. Okay, looks like we got some downtime now. All right, you two. Time to paint. Have you decided what to paint? <laughs> like you even need to ask. It's obviously going to be Paimon. Sure. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so let's go outside. Okie dokie. All right, grab your easel, paper, brushes, and paints. Don't leave anything behind. Ooh, I can't wait to do this painting. Also, if I do walk in on Eula and Amber ice bathing, I mean, I don't mind Eula, but Amber, no, I, I, no. No, hopefully I don't have to, I don't walk in on them. Let, let, let's focus on the painting. <laughs> We're gonna create a masterpiece. Hmm, let's paint here. Paimon to adopt an elegant pose for your artistic reference. Hey, what's that look for? Cut the attitude and start putting your perfect Paimon down on the page. You better take this seriously, because this is going on Paimon's wall. Confidence is a good thing. Those to whom it is endowed do well to flaunt it. I'm looking forward to the finished piece. Okay, I'm worried about how you're- how are we gonna do this? Alright, let's start with the head. Now, in your mind's eye, what is written on Paimon's face? Huh? Is that how Paimon really looks to you? Aww. Okay, forget it. We can come back to that. Let's move on to the body! Come on, paint what you see when you look at Paimon. Uh, Paimon's starting to feel like this is not going to turn out so great. Mm, now Paimon's getting nervous. Let me see, let Paimon see! <sighs> what is that? Why you... how could... <sighs> Paimon is lost for words. The brushwork is smooth, and the composition seems professional quality. You had no problems there. So what the heck happened with the face, huh? Explain that stupid expression! Explain it! Uh... Smooth... professional quality? And those eyes! Those boring, lifeless eyes! Where's the soul? Uh, Traveler? Have you previously received any education in the fine arts? What? You pour your heart on the page and this is what comes out? Special, huh? You seriously think special is supposed to look this ugly? Paimon's not convinced. But Paimon is struggling to come up with a comeback. Fascinating. Paimon. If this is not to your liking, I can make a few amendments. Uh, Traveler, what do you think? <sighs> All 
right then. Paimon, is this better? It's... It's... It's a total ground-up overhaul, that's what it is! It's so pretty! Is that really what Paimon looks like? Adding flourish to the finished piece is an essential component of what makes art... Art? This is not to say that you differ from the painting on a fundamental level, rather that the real you and the you in the painting present two different styles of beauty. You remain the core reference point for the painting. So, Paimon, you can put your misgivings aside and hang this painting wherever you like. Wow! Thanks, Albedo. Oh, I merely added a flourish here and there. You should be thanking the Traveler. In truth, ground-up overhaul is more or less an accurate description. The more Paimon looks at it, the more she likes it. <laughs> Great! Paimon has a portrait painting! Paimon's gonna show this off to everyone! It's nothing. I can paint you next time, if you'd like. You can hang it in your home as a souvenir. I rarely entertain so many guests at my camp. It's lively. A little noisy, even. But... I don't dislike it. Liveliness is a rare thing here on Dragonspine. 